Hi, and welcome to the top of this bookshelf, where I am going to go from this to this. Brought you along to watch and to keep me accountable and to hear my thought process. So let's get started. All right, so first, a little bit of what we have here, so you can see the scope and also so you can see the dust. You see all that dust? So, first thing that bothered me about this was the amount of dust. Especially because right here, I have a duster. And you think, oh, because the duster's here, she must dust frequently. No. Truth is, I like to dust when the surface is flat and empty. And so I thought having this out actually keeps me from dusting because it collects stuff. So my goal is to try to get this surface empty, clear, and something more of what I would like to dust. So this actually is not my favorite way to dust. I actually prefer to use microfiber rags or something like that. Um, my husband actually probably uses this more than I do. I'm not saying something. Um, sorry. It could be listed and I could sell it. Or I could just try it out downstairs and see if he uses it at all. But that's, it's definitely gotta go. The other thing, I don't really like decorating with my um, cleaning devices. It just kind of screams she needs to clean more or look at all that dust that isn't being done or she follows the fly lady but not really because this was from um i really do enjoy the fly lady and i think she does a lot of good i just it's not what i want to decorate with all right so that brings me to the container that it was in this is big it's beautiful Came with some things. Oh, first we could probably, this was birthday from my husband. Then I gave it to my little boy when he turned three a month later. I don't think we need it anymore. So I have a vase already that is big. Um, it's not as beautiful, but it has a smaller top. It's actually a pickle jar and it's huge. If you've seen um, the video where I downsized my kitchen, well, downsize, where I minimized, where I took out some things from my kitchen, where I decluttered cabinets in my kitchen, then you can probably see my big pickle jar. And the last time that um, I got a big enough group of flowers to put in a big enough vase, we used the pickle jar. My mom thought it was pretty hilarious. So this might need to find a new home. Oh, back here, this elephant. He's dusty. Look at those little crevices. I don't think um, using my feather duster would get out his crevices. He needs a microfiber rub down. All right, Legos, which are dusty. Woo! Can you see that on the camera? It's embarrassing. Nobody wants to play with dusty Legos, honestly. And while I love that my kids be able to make these creations, and I love this Lego set, once it's up here, they don't really play with it much. Um, except when I do get it down for them and then some of the pieces break off and then I'm like, oh no, it's part of the set. And then like random pieces end up up here too with it. And um, it's time for the Legos to be put away. All right, Legos gone. Um, I got this plant for plant. Think I could save it? Hmm. Dusty plant. I might have to find a new spot because remember, I committed. I'm going to clear this. Um, this is a clicker for our lights. So it needs to find a new home where it'll be safe. And I thought about putting this on the wall with this or something, some collaboration of those or that instead, or I don't know. But I do know I don't want pictures on there anymore. I want things either on the wall 
or in my maybe in another house I'll decorate with it box <laughs> um, let's keep going Again, this will have to go someplace else because remember, I'm trying to clear it off. There was somebody somewhere, maybe some of you know the person who talks about um, quieting the space. I thought if I can quiet this level area, then maybe it will start to rub off on other places because you know how sometimes you clear a surface and other things keep kind of creeping back in and creeping back in. This is one place where I think it's far enough away from the other drop zones that if I clear it, it could probably stay clear. And then I could become clear about what I want to actually have on it, if anything, or actually have up here, if anything. So we are going to quiet the whole space. And now, now we dust for the fun. I mentioned there are nine people living in our house we get a lot of dust so it's not that I never dust it's that we constantly are fighting dust which is a good thing to remember for when my children say I really want a pet be like I can't handle any more dust and neither can our poor um, air filters that I change every month now this is what we're going to live with for a while maybe I'll change it later maybe I won't but for right now I'm really excited about this empty space here and here and we will see what becomes of it maybe nothing will maybe nothing won't I'll box some of these other things up or get rid of them and I'm excited thanks for coming on my journey